the probability distribution of the discrete random variable x is given by the probability x is equal to x is k times 1 plus x for x from 1 to 4 and 0 otherwise. We want to show that k is equal to 14. Generally, I'd start this question off with a little table where we have x. Let's do that a little bit tidier. X and then probability x equals x. So the values we're looking at are for 1, 2, 3, and 4. So when x equals 1, we get k times 1 plus 1, which gives us 2k. We then get for when x is equal to 2, we get k times 1 plus 2, which is 3k. For x equals 3, we get k times 1 plus 3, which is 4k. And for when x is equal to 4, we get k times 1 plus 4, which is 5k. Okay, I'm going to extend the table a little bit because afterwards we can put the probabilities in the table underneath. So, to show that k equals 14, what I'm looking at, part A, is I want to show that the sum of the probabilities, so sum that probability x equals x, I want to use the fact that that is equal to 1. So I'm going to use the fact that 2k plus 3k plus 4k plus 5k is equal to 1. So when you total this up, you see you get 14k is equal to 1. And so that leads to k equals 14. 1 over 14, sorry. OK, marks on this question. Well, you're going to get a method mark for correctly indicating some convincing working leading up to the fact that k equals 14 and in the accuracy mark given for k is equal to 1 over 14. OK, part B, let's find now the mean and variance of x. So we're going to start off first of all with the expectation of x. Remember the expectation of x is the sum of the x values multiplied by their prob its probability. I'm going to do this with the k's to start off with and then I'm going to just substitute in k's 1 over 14 just because it makes life a little bit easier. So I'm going to get k 1 times 2k plus 2 times 3k plus 4, sorry, 3 times 4k plus 4 times 5k. This gives us 2 plus 6 is 8 plus 12 is 20 plus 20. This gives us 40k which then leaves us with 40 over 14 or you can simplify this to 20 over 7. And I would then just leave that as an exact answer like that. Now looking at the variance, the variance needs the expectation of x squared first of all, so I'm going to calculate that. Remember this is almost identical to the expectation of x, except we're going to square the x values. So I get 1 squared times 2k plus 2 squared times 3k plus 3 squared times 4k plus 4 squared times 5k. Okay, so when we work through this, we get 2k plus 12k is 14k plus 36k is 50k plus 16 times 5 which is 80k so what we get is 130k which is 130 over 14 which you can then write as cancelling it 65 over 7 and again I would just leave that as a fraction exactly as it is. Okay so finally we can work out the variance of x now. The variance of x is defined as the expectation of x squared minus the expectation squared of x 
So in other words, we get 65 over 7 minus 20 over 7 squared. OK, when you work that through on your calculator, you should then get an answer of 55 over 49, which again, I would personally leave as a fraction, as an exact value. Let's have a look at how we get our marks in this question. Well, first of all, for demonstrating the correct working with regards to how to sum up the product of the x value times the probability, you get a method mark. And then when you get to 20 over 7, you get your accuracy mark. Then we get a statement mark for working through and demonstrating completely how we get this expectation of x squared. Next, we get a method mark for demonstrating that the variance is 65 over 7 minus 20 over 7 squared, so the e of x squared minus the expectation of x all squared. And finally, an accuracy mark if you got that the variance was 55 over 49. OK. Finally, given that x1 and x2 are independent observations on x, determine the value of probability that x2 is equal to 1 plus x1. So in other words, find the probability that x2 is 1 more than x1. OK. So if we look at this, probability x2 equals 1 plus x1. Well, this would occur if we have probability x1 equals 2 and x2 is 1 less, so equal to 1, or x1 equals 3 and x2 equals 2, or uh, finally x1 one equals four and x two equals three. So in order to calculate this, what we're looking to do is probability x one equals two and x two equals one plus the probability that x one equals two and x two equals, sorry, that should be x2, x1 equals 3, apologies, let's just correct that, and x2 equals 2, plus the probability that x1 equals 4, and x2 equals 3. Okay, let's just give yourself a little bit of space here. So in order to find this, first of all, we have to, these are independent probabilities, so we're going to multiply them together. The probability that x1 equals 2 is 3 over 14, times the probability that x2 equals 1 is times 2 over 14, plus probability x1 equals 3 is 4 over 14 times the probability x2 equals 2, which is 3 over 14, plus probability that x1 equals 4, which is 5 over 14, plus, uh, sorry, not plus, times, times the probability that x2 equals 3, which is 4 over 14. OK, now. When we work through this, what we're going to get, it's all going to be over 196, and so we are going to get 38 over 196, and then when we cancel that down, we get 19 over 98. How do you get your marks in this question? Well, first of all, 
you're going to get a statement mark if you've indicated somewhere clearly the ways that you can actually meet the condition that x2 is equal to 1 plus x1. You are then going to get a method mark and an accuracy mark for correctly demonstrating that we are going to multiply the combination of each problem and sum up each of the different ways that meets the conditions of our event. And then finally, we get an accuracy mark at the end here for getting 19 over 98. Well, I hope that all made sense and that you understood it all.